who still wants to give you a modern neck? We do, still us. <laughs> Have a change. <laughs> so recently on the show, we asked you for your best budget brews below 100 euro in pure card value, no shipping. Or 85 pounds if you're in the UK. Or 85 pounds if you're in the UK. We got so many submissions and they were all bangers. They were really sweet. Some really cool decks in there. Really good decks. However, I had to select one at random. It's in this box. Mr. Carl doesn't Jack. know what it is yet. I don't know yet and I hope it's a good one because what we're doing is I selected one of the best decks in modern right now. It's very powerful. And you and I are gonna face off. You're playing that deck, I'm playing the modern deck. If Yamin wins, we are taking this deck, putting it in an envelope, stapping some stabs onto it, and sending to you, Alex, the person who submitted this deck. Giving it away. And I really do hope I win, because if I lose, it's only 30 euros of card market credit to you, Alex. Like, it's a price, it's a consolidation price, but it, it's not this deck. <laughs> it's not the deck. So, let's see if we get to send it to you. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's get into the game. This week, I basically had my deck randomly picked for me by the random number generator, picking one out of all the submissions we got at random. And it landed on 12 Weck, a deck that relies on playing a bunch of small goblins and then powering them up with Bushwhackers, which give your creatures plus one, plus zero, and haste, and then finishing the opponent off with a goblin grenade, ideally. At first glance, you're playing a bunch of subpar one drops in the deck, and at second glance, you still do, but you make up for that by having a bunch of synergy with the Bushwhackers, which really reward you for going wide. And then Goblin Grenade is a crazy burn spell for the late game of like turn three or four, where you can sacrifice one of your goblins to deal five damage. That's a one mana lava axe. Okay, no one wants to give you a modern deck as much as I do, but the rules are the rules, and as asked to play one of the best decks in the format, so I'm playing is at Murktide. Now the deck functions as a aggro control deck. I play some really strong beaters. They either cost one mana and generate a bunch of advantage or they cost two mana, but I need a lot of cards in my graveyard and they fly and they're seven sevens. I just beat him down with those creatures, counter some spells, disrupt his game plan by burning stuff out. It's very, very powerful. I don't know what you haven't brought, but I don't know if it can beat it. And of note, Although I really, really want to give you that modern deck, um, I'm going to play as best as I can still because it'd be really cheap to just cheese out a win and play poorly so that we can send out the decks. So I hope Yamin picked well. Yamin, you brought an Oko shirt. You're, that, that does not embody the budget deck. Or um, modern, even it, anymore. It doesn't embody either of these, but Oko will give me the powers that I need. <laughs> yeah, you have the abs above where your abs are. Just subconsciously leave people to believe. Listen, I brought a very good deck. Did you? Yes. I mean, I expected no less, but I'm gonna beat you either way. Like, we'll, we'll see, that's what the people want. Um, let's roll off first. Let's do that. That's not very high, Tara. It's not. Five is easily that's, beatable. Just this was even on par, all right. <laughs> okay, that starts good. That's a, that's a good start for the budget deck. Uh, do you have a companion to, you could. I don't. Neither do I! Oh, All right, let's get going! A non-companion modern game. I know! I will keep this hand. Perfect. This is what the deck is supposed to do. Play a bunch of one drops and then play a bushwhacker. You know what? So will I. Alright. I know this is a one lander, but I have a Dragon's Red Chameleur, so I can eventually kind of dig in the top of my library, but mostly I have a Ragavan. And Ragavan, on turn one, if I manage to connect with it, not only am I making lands, but Yemen's playing a budget deck. If you can't deal with a turn one Ragavan, he's dead. Okay, let's see what pile of hundred euros you brought to the table today. All right, Carl, I've got a question for you. Are you a character of level 17 through 20? <laughs> no, not a dead on the bug, bear! <laughs> I'll tap that then to cast a goblin guy and hit you for two. <gasps> you said this was a budget deck, you liar! It is! All right, uh, trigger! Trigger. You know what I'm playing, uh, all right. Uh, Name I, uh, of the deck. First blood. First blood. And I know what you're playing too, dude. You know exactly what I'm playing. This turn one couldn't have been better for me. This, I, I, are you playing burn? Play, Is burn? play a sick land, play a sick <laughs> creature. Play a really sick know land. what my opponent's playing. Yeah, th this is top value. Go ahead. I'm gonna draw this Merktide Regent. I could play the Channeler here on turn one to then play the Bobble, get some triggers, try to see if I can find the land off the top of my deck, but Ragavan is a 65 euro price average card on card market, and Yavin's deck is 100 euro, so I want to see if this one piece of cardboard for 65 euro can just single-handedly beat his pile of 100 euro bill. So I will fetch. 
More blood. Um, I will go to 15. Woo! Woo! That's what I want to hear, Carl. <laughs> yeah, you're playing the Goblin Guide deck. Uh, play a Steam Vents. I will tap the Steam Fence for a Ragavan! Uh, the best creature in the, modern, eh? It's it's the cost of your deck, basically. <laughs> um, and I'll play Mutra's Bubble. <laughs> Alright. And I will pass the turn to you. Don't get me wrong, Ragavan is a very powerful and scary card. However, it's far less scary when you're on the play and you have the Mock Fanatic to deal with it. I'll untap. Alright. Take a draw. Alright. Um, Carl, I've got another uh, card that costs one red mana that is almost as good as Ragavan. It's a Mock Fanatic. I'll, I'll sacrifice that Mock Fanatic. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that card is so bad in every situation except for this one. Get out of here. It's I'll let my Mock Fanatic carry a Ragavan to the graveyard. Nice Ragavan, modern. <laughs> sure. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! And then I'll hit you for two. Trigger. This is so embarrassing. Um, yeah, I'll draw this land. All right. Lucky you. Down uh, to 13. I'll take two down to 13. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> and then I'll cast another one of those. Just oh, those backup are insurance against good. Dragon Man. All right. I'll look at the top card of your library. Show it to the camera. All right, I'll untap. Sure. I'll draw. I'll draw for turn. Okay. I'm gonna play a Polluted Delta. Knew that one was coming. I'll fetch. Down to 12. Down to 12, we'll stay at 12. All right. Oh, no, we won't. I need I need a mountain. Um, we're gonna precariously go down to 10, but you know what? Your deck costs peanuts, I'm, I'm confident. Um, so I'll get another Steam Vents, I'm down to 10. Yep. I might be flying too close to the sun. You might be. Um, okay, so we know that next turn is bushwhacking time. Luckily, we have two bolts. So, if we bolt the bushwhacker, bolt the fanatic, then we can play our channelers. It's gonna be a 3-3 because I'll have delirium, and he can't snipe it anymore with another fanatic. And having ominously done that, I'm just gonna pass the turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come, on. <laughs> Come on, hit me. Mr. Big Plays here, huh? <laughs> Big Brain! I'll take my draw. Yep. Carl. Yes. You've seen this card. You know it's coming. I did. Whacking the bushes kind of is very loud, so like it was kind of obvious that it's coming, so trigger. So whacking as it was for uh, Actually, actually, is it, does it resolve? It does. It does resolve. Right, it does resolve. Yes. Uh, trigger does happen. Trigger. Okay, trigger again. It's not um, a land. Um, oh, this card is... Would have been good with the two open mana. Um, so, eight whack. Well, it's gonna be eight womp womp. I'm going to lightning bolt your goblin guide. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to lightning bolt your mog fanatic. I'll sacrifice that. I'll take one. Stealing one damage to you. Down to nine. And then you take two. And then I take two, down to seven. Down to seven. Go ahead. Nice one one. I'll draw for turn. I need some blockers. I'll play a Dragon's Rage Channeler. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Sure. And I'll play a Ragavan. Okay. It's that's, good enough now. That 3-3 three, three is kind of a brick wall. That 3-3 three, three is pretty good, but it has to attack every turn. Um, that Dragon's Rage Channeler as a 3-3 three, three can block really well. However, as long as it's a 3-3, three, three, it has to attack every turn, so it won't block well for long. Oh, on top. Are you ready, Yemen? Absolutely, I'm, I'm ready for a big turn. Big turn. Take my draw. That's a medium sized turn. I will cast a Foundry Street Oh, well, finally, it was kind of bad how I had more red creatures than you did. More <laughs> red run drops than you did. And then I'll cast another Mock Fanatic. <laughs> the Ragavan Sniper. <laughs> it is, truly is. Go ahead. I'll untap. Draw for turn. I think I just need things that block one toughness creatures. I'm gonna fetch with the Scalding Tarn. All right, all Put right. Put on a six, Down two bolts away. <laughs> Are you playing Lightning Bolt? I feel like you'd be playing. Is, is that a budget Bolt card? Bolt is like a four euro card. Is it? Uh, if you have to fit 75 cards in your deck, I don't know, you're playing Goblin Guides. 
They might have fallen far from grace. I don't know how expensive Goblin Guides are now. I'm uh, they're, playing they're, fancy Mega Den of the Bun Bears. They're only like three euros anymore, Goblin Guides. Three, four, five on Cart Market. Oh. Cart Market, what a beautiful website to buy your cards off. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin Guides is so cheap on Cart Market. Um, I'm going to cast Consider. That's not a creature that can block Carl. I, I know, I'm building up to it, yeah. I see, I see. Um, I'll get a trigger yep. on the Dragon's Rage Channeler. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's like? Blood Moons in my deck, because usually this deck has to face a bunch of primeval <laughs> titans. But here, oh, it does turn Look, your... it does turn my den of the bugbear into, into a mountain. <laughs> into a useless mountain. <laughs> So I'm gonna put this in my graveyard. No Wise need to. Wise choice. Um, I'm going to do the consider trigger where I do want that in my graveyard. I'll draw. Um, and then, I don't want to attack with my 3-3 yet. I do need to put some pressure, but I would rather it to block any of your one toughness oh, creatures. No, that's such a big brain it's such play, a Carl. No. So I'm going to sacrifice, uh, exile one, two, three. All my instants out. I want to get rid of delirium. I'm going to get rid of this Ragavan. Oh, but you can then kill it with the Mog Fanatic and give me sure. Delirium. I'm I'm no silly man. I'll get rid of this Mishra's Bobble. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to exile these five and play a Murktad Regent with three counters. It's a 6-6. Six, six. It's a two mana 6-6. Six, six. It's not bad. It not also bad. keeps my creature from attacking. Um, I'm at six. I'll pass the turn to you. All right. I'll untap. I'll take a draw. All right, watch this goblin grenade. <laughs> I'll deal one damage to you, Carl. <gasps> Down to five. Down to five. Oh, you're, pl you're playing goblins. Does that mean? There's a goblin grenade. There's a goblin grenade. It why does deals. this goblin have no nose? Uh, I don't know why it doesn't have a nose. You don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any eyes anymore. Just blew up. <laughs> um, all right, next game. Next game. Yeah, man. You know who else is rooting for you to win? Oh. Karma Crow, because if you win, they get to sell us that deck so we can send the deck to Alex. That's true. If 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 I lose, then these cards would go back to Karma Crow. But if I win, we buy them, so that's another sweet deal for Karma Crow. However, Karma Crow also has a bunch of sweet deals for you because they help us with basically every episode of the show, right? By lending us all the cards. They're a power seller on card market. They have over 700,000 cards. They have so many that they always have the cards to lend us, and they probably have all the cards for your EDH deck, your FNM deck, you want to try out so you just select them in the list of sellers on card market you make your whole order there pay shipping only once save a bunch of money and they also send it out really quickly like usually within three days you'll get yep. your deck depending on where you live of course but for now let's get back into the game okay sideboards now we have a specific case where we have more cards that we want to bring out than cards that we want to bring in that are good for this matchup you're not used to going against eight wax so I didn't come prepared. Now, I have three Blood Moons. Those are awful here. Yeah, sure, I can turn off his Diana of the Bugbear or something, but generally, yeah, I mean, it's happy having a bunch of mountains, and this is just a three mana enchantment that does nothing. So all three of them, out. Also, counter spells, really good at countering his Goblin Grenades or whatever, but Yevon has a bunch of creatures on the board. While I hold up counter magic and he just turns creatures sideways, not much is gonna happen. We're not taking them all out, but we're taking two out. Also, I want to take out the Brazen Borrower because it doesn't block any of his creatures, and bouncing one of his Bushwhacker type creatures just means he recasts it. Also, they all cost one. When paying two mana for him to recast his one mana, it's not worth it. What we are bringing in though is pretty good. We have three Engineer Explosives, those we want for sure. They're two mana, wipe the board against Yamin. If I resolve one, I basically win the game. Also, subtlety pretty good here. It's not a hurrah, but I can delay a bushwhacker turn at some point. And also at four mana, it's backbreaking against Yamin. So that's quite good. We also have two dress down. We needed to, we brought out so many cards, we needed to bring something else in. And for the two mana, they can turn all of his creatures, remove haste, remove all of the buffs. And if I don't need them at that moment, I can just cycle it out. It also really, really helps with delirium. So we're gonna bring those. The only card in my sideboard that does anything against Carl is Tormod Script. And I still only bring in one of the three I have available because it's not proactive. Against Carl, I want to attack. I want to get in there, I want to flood the board and swing in with everything as quickly as possible before Carl can cantrip his way into his answers. How does it feel to get overrun by a goblin deck? By a bunch of tiny little yeah, goblins? Yeah, be being played by Oko. Like, very confusing. Very confusing. <laughs> very confusing. It's like selecting the Teferi avatar on Arena and then playing like Mono <laughs> yeah. Red Burn. I'm gonna go first. All right. I didn't think I'd be saying this this game. <laughs> 
Uh, Yamin, I cannot keep this against you. You can't. No, I can't. That's what I want to hear. That's what you want to hear, yeah. Okay, this has landed the Dragon Rage Tunneler. Great, sure, awesome, but it doesn't do anything else. It's just a whole pile of nothing, so uh, we're gonna have to ship this. Um, how's your hand looking? It's okay. It's oh. a bunch of one drops on a mountain. <laughs> That's all you need. Okay, let's see if this is good. You didn't even get to deploy one of your goblin tokens. I, I didn't. Produce uh, on card market. You can get the tokens in the Ah, oh, you can. <laughs> okay, Yamin? I would like to keep this one. All right. Ooh, I love this hand. Uh, you've got Ragavan, which is really good on the play, um, but we have subtlety to protect it from a fanatic. Yeah, it's got disadvantage, but as soon as we start connecting with Ragavan, we'll see the secret mode on Ragavan, which is drawing an extra card a turn, because all of Yamin's cards cost one, and they cost red mana, and I have red mana, and one mana floating around all the time. Uh, we can hopefully just start casting his deck for him. Okay, it wasn't good the first time, but I'm going to fetch and play Ragavan. Oh. Down to 17. And I will play a Mistress Bobble and that's, pass it to that's you. That's the last, the exact same first turn you had last time. It was. It was. It didn't work out for me. I'll play a Den of the Bugbear. Another same, open, same opening as last time. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll cast the Foundry Street Denizen. That's not the same opening. No, uh, not at all. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do something that's not good, but it's funny. Um, first, uh, first, Foundry Street Denizen on the stack. Yeah. I'm gonna bobble you. All right. Show me what you got. Okay. Um, so, I'm gonna pitch oh. a consider to my subtlety. Yes, I see how that's would not you good. Like, <laughs> would you like to put it on top of your library? Um, I guess. Sure. I see where oh, this mine. is going. <laughs> okay, um, it, will that be your turn? That's my um, turn. I will untap. You will get to take turn, an extra turn. Draw yeah. for the uh, bottle. Extra the, draw, I mean, yeah. I will attack you. Go down to 18. I'll <laughs> it will reveal the foundry sheet denizen. I would like to play it. Who's playing goblins now? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I take everything back that I said last game. This Ragavan is scary as hell. I'm going to play an island. Cast a Serum Visions. All right. Draw a card. Uh, scry two. Keep both on the bottom. Keep I've got both a Ragavan. On the bottom, Keep like... both of them, and they're not <laughs> moving from there. Um, and I'll pass the turn to you. All right. I will play a mountain. Okay. And cast a spell that I haven't cast in a while. Goblin Pile Driver. Oh. I've, I've, Isn't this an expensive card too? No, it gets reprinted. This is a in, legacy staple. Oh Origins. yeah, Magic yeah, Origins. Magic Origins. Okay. And then I'll cast the Torment Script. This feels so weird in this deck. Like, you know what? I don't need to do this now, but just just to deal six damage instead of. Two? Even though I can do two, I'm gonna sacrifice my treasure and unholy heat it for six in response. Yep, the pile driver is dead, and that's my turn. Okay, I'll untap, draw, I'll declare attacks. Sure. Swing at you for three. Yep, 15. 15. And Let's do it again. You get a mark? No! <laughs> you get a mark, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that Ragavan hitting a Mock Fanatic is really bad because Mock Fanatic trades against almost all of the creatures in my deck. And then... I won't do anything. Yeah, that sounds I'll like I'll pass the turn over to you. I'll untap. I'll upkeep. All right, all right. Play a Castle Ember. Okay. And then I'll cast a Goblin Guide. Ooh. And a Mock Fanatic. And then I'll move into the red zone. Before? Sure. It has haste. Um, let's give it not that. I'll cast a dress down. All right. Um, in response to the dress down, I won't do anything. All right. My rag event potentially gets another turn. Um, I'll draw a card. Sure. Yemen only has two cards in hand. So at this point, I can just make him expend all his resources with what I have that was his originally. And then I have explosives as a backup to just mop up whatever he tries to bring back in. Go ahead. Okay, I'll untap, 
Creatures regain abilities? They do. Is there anything you'd like to do? No. No? Okay. Um. You get to draw. I'll draw for turn. You get to. Before you head into your main phase, I guess I have to get rid of the oh, Ragavan. My Ragavan! Yep. And then I have to exile your graveyard. It's gone! Because 6-6 six, six Merktides or whatever are... Are terrifying. Yeah. Block Goblin Guides very well. You have two cards in hand, is that correct? I do. Okay. I'm going to cast an Expressive Iteration. All right. I will be able to play this until end of turn. I'll play this, put this in my hand, and this at the bottom. I will play my Spire Bluff Canal. Play a Dragon's Ready Channeler? Wait, it triggers the Foundry Street <laughs> <Dungeons. laughs> It does. <laughs> I'm going to get in at you for two. Yes, down to 13. Down to 13. I'll untap. You will. I'll take my draw. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing. I'll play Den of the Bugbear. <laughs> Another one! This one is tapped. And I'll pass the turn. Oh. oh. Okay, I, I guess I'm expecting Goblin Grenades. I will untap. Sure. Draw. Yeah, Goblin Grenade's a real bad card when you're in 17, eh? Yeah, it's not quite as good. Um, it could kill a, um, if I'm not careful, it could kill a Merktide. I'm going to cast Consider. Sure. I'll get a trigger. Yep. Let's do it again. I'll draw it. All right. Do it again. I'll draw it. <laughs> oh, no. Not the I will, I will, um, dash, the dash my Ragavan. This will trigger my Foundry Street Denizen. Yep. I will declare attacks. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I gotta block the Ragavan. Ho ho, Doomblade! Um, you'll take two? Yep, I will. Down to 11. 11 you go. It's your turn. All right, I'll untap once again, and I will draw once again. I'll play another mountain, and I'll activate this. Yes. So this is now a 3-2. And gets into the red zone. You get a goblin. I get a goblin. That's also attack. I'm just hoping for no more ragavans in this game. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the four. All right, down to 13. And then that's my turn. I'll untap. Yep. That, that's the most goblin-y goblin I've ever seen. Yeah, it's a true goblin. <laughs> it's a masterpiece of goblinhood. I'll play this explosive oh, on zero. Yes. On zero. It's gonna trigger. I guess, yeah, on one it would even hurt yourself more yeah. than... I'll put this land into the graveyard. So you don't quite have... Don't uh, quite. I'd have to blow this up. Which I'll do. Okay. I'll hit at you for five. Uh, that's kind of a lot of damage at this point. Down to yeah, six. Down to six. Can you deal 13? Let's see. Let's Go find ahead. out. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play yet another mountain. Okay. Animate the den once again. Yes. Head into the red zone. You may. Attack. Got a goblin. I'll take four. Down to Two, nine. Nine. Then you can maybe goblin grenade something as an out. Let's see. Is that the end of your turn? It's not. I will Goblin Grenade the Channeler. Sacrificing my den. Now it's your turn. I'll untap. Draw for turn. I will. Nah. I'll attack you for two. Yep. Down to four. Down to four. Gonna pray for no lightning bolt. Going to fetch. Yep. Go to eight. Yep. Get an island. Sure. And then... No, Carl, don't do, don't do the Merc Tide thing. That's I boring. do the Merc, the Merc Tide thing. One, two, three, four, five. I'll play 
a Merc Tide with two counters on it. Okay, I have this Merc Tide in hand that won't be doing much anyways, so it's just an upside play to keep this mana up so I can buff counter spell and force Yevon to play more carefully. Carl, there's not much hope. I know, uh, but I'll try anyways. Okay. A Noble Cuss. Draw. I mean, what you got? I'll cast a Mock Fanatic. That's quite good. And then I'll cast a Reckless Bushwhacker. <gasps> That's so many creatures. So many creatures. Yes. You have no cards in hand. I don't. Okay. Um, yeah. All your creatures get plus one, plus I, zero I can attack, I guess. I will block here. Sure. I'll take four. Yeah. Down a four. I'd like another Goblin Grenade, please, or something. <laughs> no, you, that's not how magic works. Uh, I'll pass the turn. I'll untap, I'll draw a card, I'll declare attacks. Yep. I'll swing with the team. I gotta try again in game yeah. three. Yeah, let's see if we need that packaging. Sideboards, game three. Nothing. <laughs> Ragavan's still good. Blood Moon's still bad. Nada. Okay, yeah, man, let's see if you can live the dream. Uh, oh, get one more shot at it. It's... You know what? I really want to win for, like, my my appearance in Ego, but I also really want to send out a modern deck. Yeah. I, I just want to win and send out a modern <laughs> deck. <laughs> it's all upside to you. Um, so assume you're going first. I am going first, for sure. Okay. And I'll keep this. Once again, I do have the turn one goblin guide available, so that might be a good omen. I will keep this as well. All right, let's go. Whoa. This is a classic Merktide hand. I play Ragavan turn one, bolt his two best creatures, eventually play a Merktide regent he can't deal with. I'm sorry, I, I don't think we'll be sending you that modern deck. This hand is just awesome. All right, I'm going first, so I'm gonna start things off with the goblin guide and smack at your foot too. Again! Still don't need this. And still a revealing counterspell every time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's more like a point to target counterspell or look at target counterspell <laughs> in his deck. Um, yeah, I'll draw. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, I believe you're not playing. No, no. I'm <laughs> um, not. I will play this and then see if we need to weigh more balance on the Ban Ragavan camp. Oh no, not the Ragavan. This time I don't even have a Mark Fanatic available, so I have to find another way of dealing with it. Okay, I'll pass the turn to you. I'll untap and I'll take my draw. Do you have another Mark Fanatic? We'll see about that. He's on a mission. Yeah, first I'm gonna swing with the Goblin Guide. Trigger. It's not counter spell, it's oh, a lucky. land. Um. So now it's a little embarrassing if uh, I just take two and you play a Mog Fanatic. It would be. But on the other hand, wouldn't I have done that pre-combat? I'm going to take two. Sure. 16. 16. I will... Mog Fanatic? No. <laughs> that, that would be the... <laughs> oh, the crazy brain That would be the biggest brain. flex. Uh, I'll cast a light up the stage. Okay. Exiling one and two. All right, that's, that's solid. Yeah, those uh, are two cards you might want. I'll play the den, and then I'm gonna... Oh, the flex! Uh, play a Legion Loyalist, I guess. Oh, I haven't seen that card in a long time. Me neither. Okay. Go ahead. I'll untap. Yep. Draw for turn. I will Lightning Bolt the Loyalist. Yep, that Ragavan coming that through. That Ragavan's coming through. Uh -uh. Yep. Castle Embereth. I can't play that. Again. What's the point of the top of your library that's not one mana red creatures? Okay, we were trying to get a goblin guide to block behind with the Ragavan hit. We didn't get one. That's okay. We've got mana up. We can counter a Bushwhacker. We've got Balt. We're fine. I get my treasure. Um, and yeah, you know about Island and Counterspell, so I'll play an Island and leave up Counterspell. Oof. Pass the turn. Oh, all right. I'll untap. Okay. I'll take, draw. take my draw. Okay, so first things first, I gotta check if this lightning bolt resolves because I will lightning bolt your Ragavan. Yeah, it goes at the end of the turn. It does. It's gone. It does. The terror has ended. Or, I don't believe you, Carl. <laughs> this, this is not what someone would say if, if they want me <laughs> to they think. they Ragavan? Yeah, um, instead I'll hit you with the Goblin God. I'm going to suck my treasure. Sure. And lightning bolt your Goblin Guide. I'll have a trigger. Yeah. It's a land. It's a land. All right. And then... Neither of us have a board anymore. Look at us. Look at We've us. We've gone so far. Not having boards. I'll cast a Goblin Piledriver. Ooh, that one's good. Post-combat, too. Yep. 
Go ahead. I'll untap. I will draw for turn. Sure. I'll play this island? Yep. And... Dun 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 Return more. of the Sith. More Ragavans. It's a very itchy Sith. Um, I'll pass the turn to you. All right, I'll untap. And I'll take a draw. Okay. All right, uh, this is a start. This is what we call a start. I'll cast a Mark Fanatic. No! Um, this is gonna feel so embarrassing, but I'm gonna want to counter that. Probably. It's countered. Okay. And then I'll cast a Foundry Street Denizen. All right. And pass the turn. I'll draw for turn? Sure. Hmm. Okay. I will cast an expressive iteration. Let's go dig in. Express yourself, Carl. I iteratively. <laughs> we, we said this joke twice yeah, already. This card is um, too good. We're making this joke too often. We're playing it too... Actually, it's not that good this time. I will... Put this into my hand. Play this until end of turn. No surprises. Put this at the bottom. Yeah. I will... Uh, are you saying this iteration wasn't that good? It's, 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 as, as far as an iteration goes, the ceiling's <laughs> pretty high. I'll go to 13 to fetch. Sure. For another island, because you... I am at 13. You are. Thank you. <laughs> For the confirmation. <laughs> I, I just wanted, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we're like all on the same page there. Um, and I'm going to tap two, and one, two, three, four, five. For a Murktide with one, two, three, four counters on it. That's huge. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't th doesn't block your Goblin Pile Driver though. It doesn't. Um, but that's what's Ragavans for. If ever you even get to attack, I mean the turn's yours. I'll have to. Looks like we might not need that tape and uh, wait, postal stamps after all. We might not. It's looking terrible. I'm so sorry. Oh my God! If I lose this, I'm gonna feel. At this point, I have to rely on light up the stage to get me back into the game by generating some card advantage. I'll... Okay, this is so awkward. I'll cast... I'll cast a light up the stage. You're right. It's, yeah, man. That is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <laughs> awkward. It's, uh, I feel so bad. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Oh, you can I'll, play those together. I, yes, I can. Okay. Um, so... I mean, that's these, not even these close are to exiled. killing a These are exiled. This is in yeah. the graveyard. I'll play the mountain. Okay. I'll lightning bolt the Ragavan. Weird target, but all right. Oh, you can Ooh, get in for one. I can, I can get in for one. Ragavan is guess. dead. Um, I will. I will get in for one. Once again, protection from blue on this pile driver is key in beating the Murktide region because it cannot block it, and this pile driver can get really big really quickly. I'm at twelve. You're at twelve. Okay. Go ahead. I will untap. Draw for turn? Sure. Yep. All right. Um, I think I know what I want to do. It Deep. gives me the most outs. I know it's not going to make me popular, but I'm going to fetch. I'll go down to 11. 11. Well, I mean, the big question is, do you attack? I get an island. All right. Um, Why no Shockland, Carl? You could have <laughs> done a nine. I, I, I don't want to lose the game. I am going to attack you Ooh. for seven. Brave over here, down 11, to 11, down 11. But that's specifically because I'm going to pay four no, and no. exile <laughs> three. Stop playing these mythics. They don't stop coming. All right, I don't know what's in Yaman's hand. It could be one ones. Uh, it could be a bunch of lands. I don't know. But I do know he has a den of the bugbear on the battlefield. And if I keep up counter magic and all he does is activate the den and start swinging, I lose. So I have to play to what's on board, what I know for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boink, so it hit him for seven. I'm going to play another Murktide. That way I can block with it. Yeah, I can't use my counter spells. But um, on the next turn, I can swing for almost lethal. So if I exile cards from my graveyard, if I draw a bolt, if I draw an expressive iteration, I'm looking really good here. Also, it lets me keep up Spell Pierce, 
So I can nab a goblin grenade or something if he starts tapping mana. Or I can even just threaten a lightning bolt with that open mana. That way he has to play a lot more cautiously. Is there, did you exile anything? Yes, you exiled the iteration. Right? No, no, I only oh, had no. The, no, that was with the previous one. It's right. a 3-3. Three, three. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It still handily blocks everything except for the pile driver. Yeah, that one's kind of um, scary, eh? But I, I do have this uh -huh, up my sleeve. Um, I have a open red mana. And I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. Let's see what you got. This is so scary. I'll draw. Oof, that's not it. That's not a good draw. Um, I mean, okay, wait. So that's a lot of damage, Carl. Mm -hmm. um, I could activate the Den block. You take a bunch. How much? No, no. no. All right. So here's what we'll do, Carl. Okay. I'll cast a goblin, goblin bushwhacker. <laughs> a goblin bushwhacker. Goblin. He went to Paris for one <laughs> summer, one semester, came back pronouncing it differently. Yes, uh, kick you're it. kicking it. Does okay. it resolve? It does. It does. Trigger. Yes. Trigger. Trigger. Then I'll head to attacks. You may. I'll attack with everything. Okay, trigger. you get another trigger, yes. yes. This gets pretty big. So these are, this is the 3-1, three, uh, three mm -hmm. this is a 2-1, and this is a 5-2. Five, 5 is a lot of damage. It is. All right, um, this is the one that gets bigger, yeah, it's so a three, one. I'll block here, yep. I'll take 5, 6, 7, that's still a lot. Seven. This um, bushwhacker, like bushwhackers always generate so much damage out of nowhere. But then they're just a 1-1. One, one. At least I'm out of bolt range. Uh, so four. Four, these trade. These trade. I will... Whew, I hope we goblin grenades here. This Valtrius would be so good. I'll, I'll play a mountain. And I'll uh, sack the bushwhacker for goblin grenade. <laughs> you, does that work? You, I'll pay two you, extra, Carl! Why did you play that mountain? Why are you so cautious? Um, yeah, that's lethal. Go get the shipping equipment. I we, will. Uh, we need the stamps. Good games. Good games. Oh, oh, fighting the good fight. Oh, yes, that was, that was like, <laughs> that was the most achieving, the most important victory against Carl I ever pulled off. I'm, I'm so happy. Carl, take this, five damage. Happily, because Alex, take this, a modern deck. We're giving it to you. Listen, I've never been so happy to lose a game against you, Yavin, because we get to send a modern deck to one of our viewers. It Everyone. feels so rewarding, like rewarding the people that, I don't know, watch every week, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. That reminds me, if you like the show and you want to see more of this, if you want to see Card Market giving away more decks, show that you like this show, because once Card Market understands that you like this show, we're gonna do more. We can do this more often. So yeah, click that like button, subscribe if you're not. It, it doesn't cost you yeah, anything. But in the meantime, it's time to go and see, see you, you next week. week.